Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 14 of the Lico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's bomb. 1218, longest arithmetic subsequence of given difference. Uh, given an integer array R and an integer difference, return the length of the longest subsequence in array or R in which an arithmetic sequence such that the difference between adjacent elements and the subsequence equal difference. Of course, that's it. <laughs> what a long sentence. Uh, a subsequence is a sequence that can be derived from R by deleting some or no elements without changing the order of the remaining elements. Okay, let's see. Uh, so we don't we can't change the order, but it is a subsequence. Uh, n is 10 to the fifth, uh, just in case I could do anything n square, but we can look up stuff anyway. But, mm, huh, 10 to the fifth, arithmetic. Which one is arithmetic again? The, oh, yeah, yeah. So there's, the, oh, they, oh, they tell you the difference. Oh, okay. <laughs> I actually misread this for a little bit. That's why I was like, how do I do this better than n square? But then difference is then it becomes a lot easier, right? Because for each number, you just have to find find if there is a one, you know, the previous one, right? So yeah, so that's basically the idea. The idea is that for every number that you see, and this is kind of dynamic programming, I, I suppose, um, is that okay? So you have a lookup is you go to collection stack counter and lookup is a terrible name, but basically lookup sub some number x is you go to the longest subsequence that that ends in x and it starts at zero, right? So for and then now for x and r, um, we can just look up look up if. Uh, either x minus difference or plus difference, in this case I think it's minus difference, uh, is in lookup, then lookup of x is equal to lookup x minus difference plus 1, or, of course, just max of, or just lookup of x as is, right? And that's really it, right? What are we returning? The max value or something? So, yeah. And I think that's it. Uh, and unless this is zero, apparently. Where is this zero? Do, 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 do. Uh, there's also um, at least one, so... Hmm. Yeah, maybe that's not quite the easy way to do it then. Let's use zero. And... Yeah, if it's not, then look up of x is equal to one, right? And I think that's good too. We have at least one value, right? Yep. Um, yeah, the idea, again, I think, unless I get it wrong, which is very possible. Huh, I'm pretty I got it wrong a couple of times the last time. Why? Why I really went nuts on that one. Oh, uh, I think I tried really hard to do it recursively, and then I couldn't figure it out, to be honest. Uh, or maybe I just forgot something. I don't know, because I did some sorting here, so maybe I just misread it. I don't know. Um... But maybe th this is also good. It shows you that uh, Larry is learning and something is hearing or something. I don't know. Nature is hearing. Um, but yeah, but the idea is, again, I think uh, what I want to say is that it's similar to yesterday's in the sense that the core part of the problem is just tr trying to phrase it in a way that you can um, come up with a sort of an invariant that you can keep on iterating on, right? Um, yesterday was, you know, this this idea of recursion. Here is the idea of okay. For every number, what is the longest thing that ends with, right? And because we know, we're given a delta, we're given a difference, we can just look it up, and then we update it, and then we just keep doing it. And then the invariant, uh, uh, the loop invariant, uh, is that at the end of every loop, look up sub x contains the longest subsequence that ends in x for all x, right? So yeah, um, what's the complexity here? This is going to be linear time, linear space. Uh, you can say stuff about maybe tree and tree lookup instead, but you know what? Uh, either way, it is plenty fast, and that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. 
Have a great weekend, everybody. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>